Okay. Uh, in this lecture, I am going to uh, discuss about the probability uh, plot of uh, uh, different uh, state functions of particle in a cubical box model. Okay, it is actually the continuation of particle in a cubical box. So, if uh, if we, if we ch uh, first I'll choose this state, say one 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 state. Uh, see, uh, n x quantum number is one, n y also one, n z also one. If you uh, compare with the particle in one D box, if quantum number is one, you will never get any node between zero to l. So, along x axis you will never get any node, along y axis also you will never get any node, along z also you will never get any node, because all the quantum numbers are 1 1 1. Okay. So, if you plot, if you take uh, probability, the probability will appear and if you uh, take the product of all these 3, the probability will appear like a sphere, right, will appear like a sphere uh, for psi 1 1 1 state. Okay. So, this is the probability plot. So, the uh, probability plot will appear like a sphere for psi 1 1 state, right. It 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 is actually uh, 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 sp a sphere or a hollow sphere, right. It appears like hollow sphere, it appears like hollow sphere, right. And there is no nodal plane in this case for psi 1 1 state. Suppose, if we go to next one that is psi 2 1 1 state. See, for psi 2 1 1, now let us take the uh, coordinates in a different uh, manner, so that you can uh, visualize this easily. I will take this as origin now, I will take this axis as x axis and this is y and this as z. Okay. See, what I did is I just rotated, I rotated this uh, system uh, in such a manner that uh, or I placed the origin here that is all. Okay, because I want to show uh, what happens along x axis, right. See, uh, now n x quantum number is 2. If you compare with the particle in 1 D box, for quantum number 2, you will get a node at the middle, okay, right. So, here we are going to, uh, uh, we, are, we are going to uh, um, draw the probability plot. So, the probability plot is supposed to have a nodal plane along the x axis and there should not be any nodal plane along uh, y or z. Okay. So, how the uh, uh, diagram will appear like or the probability plot will look like. You will be having a dumbbell, dumbbell and this is not the uh, fully filled dumbbell, it is actually um, a hollow dumbbell. Okay. Let me show like this, just for understanding purpose I am drawing like this. Right. It is an hollow dumbbell and uh, uh, the dumbbell right uh, appears uh, uh, that is it has a nodal plane right here we have a nodal plane let me show like this here we have a nodal plane right the nodal plane is passing at the middle right so we have a nodal plane along the x axis along x axis we have a nodal plane but along y and z there is no nodal plane so this is how the psi 2 1 1 state will appear like this is not p orbital you know very well p orbital has uh, uh, fully filled, uh, okay, we can say like this, F p orbitals are fully filled dumbbells, but here the shape appears like dumbbell, but it is hollow dumbbell, it is hollow dumbbell, dumbbell, okay, hollow dumbbell shape and it has one nodal plane, there is one nodal plane along x axis. In a similar manner, if you plot for uh, uh, psi 1 to 1 state, psi 1 2 1 state, it is very obvious that along y axis we should get uh, a nodal plane for psi 2 1 to 1 to 1 state. Right. So, for that purpose I will take uh, a cube, I am just showing a probability plot, right, several probability plots. So, I will take this as origin now, I will take this as x axis, this is y and this is z. Okay. Now, along y axis, because uh, the n x quantum number is n y, I am sorry, n y quantum number is 2. So, along y axis we should get a nodal plane. So, uh, the probability plot will appear like a dumbbell 
the dumbbell uh, 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 will uh, lie along y axis right and uh, it is a hollow dumbbell actually I'll, I'll, draw, I'll show like this okay it is actually three dimensional in shape it is a hollow dumbbell right and it has a nodal plane it has a nodal plane along y axis now okay so you have a nodal plane nodal plane plane along along uh, or uh, uh, in x y x z plane right nodal plane is x z plane okay we have a nodal plane which is actually x z plane and here we have a nodal plane the nodal plane is actually the uh, y z plane y z plane is the nodal plane and here x z plane is the nodal plane. In a similar manner, if you go to psi uh, 112 state, okay, you will get a hollow dumbbell with a nodal plane uh, along uh, with nodal plane x y. Right? So, for 112 state also we have will get a hollow, we will get a hollow dumbbell, hollow dumbbell uh, with a, a nodal plane, with a nodal plane right which is uh, along uh, x and uh, y axis okay so the nodal plane is along x and y here the nodal plane is along x z here the nodal plane is y z so uh, psi 2 1 1 state psi 1 2 1 state and psi 1 1 2 state okay these three states have different uh, uh, wave functions but they have same energy you know very well these three states are degenerate okay in the case of hydrogen atom uh, i'm sorry uh, in the case of uh, particle on a uh, particle in a cubical box right uh, these three states have the same energy but the wave functions are different so the the uh, probability plot will appear in a, uh, along along a different different axis okay see for uh, psi 1 1 state right the probability is same everywhere along x or y or z the probability is uh, appear like a sphere hollow sphere whereas for psi 2 1 1 state uh, we will get a hollow dumbbell that hollow dumbbell is uh, actually lies along x axis and we have a nodal plane at the middle right that nodal plane is actually the y z plane right similarly here for one to one state we have uh, uh, the hollow dumbbell that hollow dumbbell lies along y axis and we have a nodal plane at the middle and the nodal plane is actually the x z plane similarly for one one two state we have a hollow dumbbell and the uh, dumbbell lies along z axis now right and we have a nodal plane which is x y plane okay yeah or parallel to x y plane we can say like that right so this is uh, regarding uh, probability of uh, of uh, of the of different states of a particle in cubical box okay now now let me start uh, some of the applications of a uh, uh, particle in uh, cubical box model right applications using particle in cubical box model we can explain uh, some of the experimental facts say for example uh, let me choose okay the first one let us take uh, the f centers in crystals f centers in crystals f centers in crystals Okay, you know very well uh, some ionic crystals on heating with uh, uh, the corresponding uh, metals in the vapor state you will get a color say for example if you take lithium chloride lithium chloride solid lithium chloride which is actually colorless material transparent which is transparent but on heating lithium chloride with the lithium metal vapor okay you take lithium chloride solid and heat it with the lithium metal vapor okay on heating what will happen the lithium chloride solid right become pink similarly if you take sodium chloride sodium chloride solid and if you heat it with the sodium metal right that solid is actually transparent colorless i can also say colorless the colorless sodium chloride become yellow sodium chloride become yellow right in a similar manner if you take uh, potassium chloride 
solid potassium chloride which is also colorless colorless but on heating with the potassium listen you can take any alkali metal actually here you can take any alkali metal it is not necessary that for lithium chloride we should choose lithium for sodium chloride we should take sodium no even you can take any other uh, alkali metals okay what we need is it should provide uh, an electron that's that's the point okay so it should have low ionization energy right so heating with the potassium in the vapor state right this will give you uh, the lilac color i'll get potassium chloride with the lilac which appears as lilac right similarly if you take zinc oxide solid zinc oxide it is also colorless but on heating with the on heating you'll get a, a zinc oxide right uh, which gives a yellow color yellow color now what is the reason for this uh, for the appearance of the color okay so listen uh, this is actually a very important one suppose i'll take sodium chloride as an example sodium chloride so sodium chloride solid on heating with the sodium metal in the gaseous state will get a sodium chloride solid which appears yellow as i told you right similarly you take sodium chloride uh, crystal see actually this is colorless the normal sodium chloride is colorless on heating with sodium vapor i am getting yellow similarly you take sodium chloride solid heat it with the potassium metal in the vapor state right again i am getting the same yellow color right so one point is very clear here that color is not due to the uh, metals in the vapor state color is not due to this color is actually due to the uh, sodium chloride crystal right what is actually happening here you know very well on heating sodium chloride suppose uh, let me draw uh, uh, the solid state uh, structure just for understanding purpose i am drawing like this it is not actually appearing like this i am just uh, showing one layer one layer of sodium chloride okay so here we have sodium ion here we have chloride ion here we have sodium ion chloride ion sodium ion right like that so here we have chloride sodium chloride sodium chloride sodium ion chloride ion sodium chloride sodium etc etc like that yeah okay so suppose assume that in a crystal lattice okay see i have taken one layer of crystal lattice what happens on heating on heating some of the chloride ions some of the chloride ions right due to thermal agitation right some of the chloride ion may go out okay and it will combine with the, uh, the ionized sodium atoms actually you know very well in uh, f centers what happens is this vapor state metals will undergo ionization and release electron okay this sodium ion will attract we can see in the other way the chloride ions present in the lattice will diffuse out and combine with the sodium ion and form a new pair and it will make a vacancy here it will make a vacancy here that vacancy is occupied by the electron so here the electrons diffuse into the crystal and it will occupy the anion place so whenever an anion vacancy is occupied by electron okay the material will appear with the color right so you will get a color so this is what we call as f center for b center f center also called for b for b center okay now whenever an anion vacancy is occupied by electron the material will show color but now a question arises why sodium chloride why does sodium chloride shows yellow but potassium chloride shows uh, appears with the lilac color whereas li uh, lithium chloride will appear with the pink color what's the reason for the difference in color the difference in color can be explained by using particle in 3d box model okay let us assume see this is actually one layer i, I told you know so if you take the upper layer and the downward layer then this place okay approximately it will appear like a cube 
isn't this is actually one layer now just imagine we have another upper layer and another downward layer okay therefore that middle place will appear or will uh, will look like a, it's not exactly cube but appear like a cube and the electron okay behaves like a free particle right moving inside the box okay so here this electron right behaves like behaves like behaves like like a particle particle in a cubical box okay you know very well in cubical particle in cubical box we have different allowed uh, energy states okay so say for example this is 1 comma 1 comma 1 state and this is the next higher level 2 1 1 1 1 2 1 right and 1 1 2 states are there so initially the electron suppose suppose if electron is present here right listen this gap this energy gap delta e right it is inversely proportional to box length it is inversely proportional to square of the box length this box dimension is decided by the ions present correct if sodium if you take sodium chloride crystal i will get a cubical box with some dimension say l1 if you take potassium chloride instead of sodium chloride if you take potassium chloride i will get a cube but the dimension of the uh, or the length length of the box right is not the same as the length of sodium chloride so the length of the box actually changes as length of the box changes the delta e changes delta e is the gap between the adjacent level changes if delta e changes you know very well the radiation that is absorbed it will absorb from the visible radiation actually okay the electron free electron which is present in the anion position which is actually a free electron it will absorb from visible radiation right that's why it shows color okay so that the wavelength of absorption right h is uh, that is lambda the wavelength of absorption of photon uh, right the photon wavelength should exactly you know very well the energy of the delta e should be exactly matches with the photon energy right so a particular wavelength of photon is absorbed right the wavelength that is absorbed depends on the box length okay so l is directly proportional sorry lambda is directly proportional to l square okay suppose if we put in the place of delta e if i put hc by lambda so lambda is directly proportional to l square as box length increases wavelength also increases okay so uh, in sodium chloride we have one one particular value of uh, box length if you take potassium chloride we will have a different uh, value of box length so as the box length changes okay the wavelength of absorption changes therefore the color also changes okay so what is the reason for uh, different colors right see lithium chloride uh, exhibit pink color sodium chloride exhibit yellow uh, potassium chloride exhibit, exhibit lilac and the zinc oxide exhibit yellow right the reason for these different colors are due to the dimension or the size of the box okay size of the box is decided by the ions present in the crystal okay so uh, this is the reason why f center shows uh, f centers uh, in different crystals will appear with a different color okay right i stop here i uh, will discuss some more applications okay in the uh, coming lectures thank you